hello welcome to another video tutorial today i'm going to show you how to create gradient in adobe illustrator uh, to create gradient we are going to open a new file go to file then i'm going to select a 4 i'm going to change my units to millimeters then uh, just going to press ok I'm going to select my shape tools then I'm going to select uh, I'm going to select rectangle tool uh, the shortcut is M on the keyboard then I'm going to press to click and drag for the rectangle uh, I'm also going to select uh, an ellipse uh, the shortcut is L so I'm going to hold shift while I drag uh, and then um, I'm going to use the same ellipse tool uh, by just dragging without holding shift I'm also going to take another shape the star tool then just draw the star hold alt and shift while dragging and uh, that is okay for us to create a gradient we'll go to windows then gradient or you can use control plus f9 there you go this is a gradient the next thing i'm going to do is make sure i select all my my objects i'll select control a then i'm going to hit x or just swap uh, fill and stroke yeah uh, and i'm going to make sure make sure that um, the stroke is none so that i have fills uh, now you're going to apply uh, gradient uh, by just clicking here you can also create gradient by going to the color palette the fill then white and black you'll be applying gradient so i'm going to do the same to this just click that now that is gradient uh, we've just applied gradient to all our shapes uh, now we need to change color of these gradients so for us to change a uh, gradient uh, I'm going to select uh, this gradient slider here and as you can see opacity and uh, location is at 100% the angle is zero then the gradient type is linear we have two types of gradients there is radial which is this then we have linear to apply color uh, select the gradient slider double click then uh, here is uh, uh, swatches you can select any color from the swatches I'm going to select this blue and then uh, I'm going to select uh, uh, this gradient slider and then I'm going to apply some blue uh, light blue and that you can see a gradient from a lighter color to a darker color so that is okay you can also change uh, your angle to 45 as you can see now the gradient is uh, is uh, diagonal to the to the rectangle you can change to any other angle and to still apply there you go it has just changed 
so this is how you apply gradient uh, using linear method your type of gradient now you're going to use the radial on this uh, uh, on this uh, ellipse so first we're going to change uh, to radial then I'm going to select my colors here uh, this time I'm going to use some greens then I like uh, select a lighter green like that there you go you can slide this uh, gradient sliders just to increase or reduce your the range of your colors within your gradient you can either increase or reduce uh, so that is it you can also change uh, your angle just as we did with the rectangle also put uh, some other value uh, for this it's not possible to see clearly the angle but uh, you can just play around with it then you have uh, you can actually sh uh, use the ratio of uh, horizontal and uh, vertical for the colors uh, you can just uh, play with the colors using this aspect ratio So you can also use the location by just moving this slider or just coming here or entering just a, a figure here and you are done. So that is how we apply radio. Um, you can use the same method on this. Uh, okay for this i just want to show you not how to change the color or what or uh, angle but i'm going to show you uh, how to use uh, more of uh, the gradient tool this is the gradient palette uh, for manipulating the gradient but here we have also the gradient tool if you select it you'll be able to see the gradient uh, slider tool you can also uh, have the sliders move them depending uh, to determine the range of your colors you can also drag from one end to the other just to determine how uh, you want your gradient to be can also hold shift while dragging so that is how we use a gradient tool uh, you can also change colors by just double clicking on these sliders you change your color that's it by holding alt uh, drag to duplicate your sliders and then double click to change your colors uh, you can also rotate the slider tool to fit your the angle you need you want so you can also uh, so that is how we do it so 
Uh, that is how we use the gradient tool uh, on a fill. Uh, so I want to show you how to add gradient on strokes. Uh, this is a fill. I'm just going to swap it to a, st a stroke. Then I'm going to increase the size of the stroke. That is a, a gradient on a stroke. So oh, to change the color or uh, manipulate this uh, gradient, what we need to do, we're going to uh, activate uh, the stroke uh, by pressing X so that we can manipulate the stroke. Uh, so we can also change color to this uh, the stroke yeah that's it yeah so just as the fill you can play around with the angles double click the slider gradient slider then now uh, reduce the opacity can reduce it to zero uh, then you can push it to there so that we have a uh, half of the star so I'm going to uh, put it uh, to give this an angle uh, of uh, 90 so that uh, the gradient uh, is uh, symmetrical yeah that's it so i hope you've enjoyed watching this video uh, subscribe to our channel for more video tutorials